Good day to each and everyone. This is Coach Jean of Drafting Lifestyle and we are here for another tutorial. So for previous drawings that we have, we had a consecutive series of working drawings. And today's drawing is one of the most very important part of house planning because we are going to talk about elevation. Now elevation plays a very vital role in a working drawing because this will give the idea of our clientele of what they are going to expect of a, the, the outcome or the picture of the certain structure. So, napaka-importante talaga ang pag-draft ng elevation. So today, we are going to discuss this elevation drawing as our topic for this week. So if you're ready, let us start with our tutorial. As you can see, I have here a sample of what we call or a definition of what is an elevation. It has been said one of the most important part of architectural working drawing is the elevation. This contains the data or the image of the house or the structure typically most clients would love to see the exterior part of the house of the building or any structure. So which means by definition elevation is one of the most very important and most likely ang mga clientele are very very are having their most critic um should I say they, they give their most insightful critics for an elevation drawing. Okay. An elevation is a drawing that shows the front or side of something. This is how they define an elevation. It has been also been defined as to show the exterior or interior part of the house. So therefore, kapag sinabi natin interior part of the house, it talks about the section. So since we are talking about elevation, we are going to focus more on the exterior part of the structure. Okay? So there are terms that you have to remember when you are going to deal with an elevation. Number one is GL or sometimes it is called as the NGL. This represents as grade line or kapag NGL naman, that is natural grade line. We also have here FL or FFL that stands for floor line or finish floor line. Number three, we have the CL stands for the ceiling line. That if you still remember, that is our last part tutorial ng drawing natin. Okay? And then we have also, not to forget, the BL stands for beam line. So there are things that you have to consider when you are going to have an elevation. Now, to see for example of an elevation, this is an actual picture of a sample of a front elevation. Okay? So ito po ay isang sample ng front elevation. So, the figure of the house is being illustrated in this drawing. So, lahat na kailangan ng details dito, if you want to add, no, pwedeng pwede. Also, there are things that you have to remember, especially the standard or should I say the ideal measurement na ginagamit ngayon with the latest trends of architectural designs. From It says here, from grade line to finished floor line, it has at least 0.30 meters minimum. In the latest design, the minimum height is at 0.50 meters. So, ang pinaka minimum dati galing sa natural grade line to the finished floor line should at least be 0.30. Now, what is the reason why? Simply because para ang tubig ng ulan hindi basta-basta makapasok sa loob ng bahay. Also, finished floor line to the ceiling line with a standard measurement at least not less than kapag sa first floor no kapag sa first floor it must not be less than 2.70 or 2.80 meters ang minimum now if you have two floors sa ground floor that is 2.7 and the succeeding floors second third fourth must not be less than 2.40 meters standard ng floor to the ceiling. So, since one floor lang naman ang kailangan natin gawin ngayon sa activity natin, you are going to remember the standard height of measurement is 
2.7 to 3 meters. Now, 3 meters or 10 feet is the most ideal height from floor line to ceiling line. This is the ideal vertical height. Then, we also have to consider some. They have to make measure to take note that ceiling line to beam line is at least 0.20 to 0.30 meters. So, others, they do disregard the beam line because this is part of the interior lang naman siya ng ceiling and to the top of the roof. And then lastly, not to forget, beam line to the top of the roof, at least the ideal height is at 1.50 to 2.50 meters depends on the floor area of the structure to mix it proportion. Now, it also affects the proportion of the structure kapag masyadong malaki ang floor area tapos mababa naman ang, ang taas ng roofing, it also affects the design. So, dapat meron tayong ideal na sinusunod. But, if you're going to have 1.50 to 2.5 meters, that is already considered as a standard or ideal na siya sa height ng bong. Okay? So, those are the things that you have to remember when you are going to have a elevation. Now, also, here, in constructing elevation, maraming procedure. Okay? But if you're going to go back with the basics, Elevation projection is the most important or what we call the most basic way on how to construct an elevation. So as you can see in the picture here, no, this is how you are going to construct an elevation. So this drawing exercise natin ay gagawin ko into two parts. I'm going to draft this week or today um, as a video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo um, the two parts only the front and the rear elevation and on hopefully within this week also I could also upload the part 2 of the drawing exercise that you are going to have which is the right side and the left side elevation so this is the process of how you are going to construct a what we call um, elevation using projection method okay so very clear naman kung paano now if you've gone through manual drawing this is basic Okay? This is the most basic way on how to construct elevation to make it more precise and understandable and easy to construct. Now, to define elevation projection, elevation projection drawings are projected from the floor plan, which means the basis of your drawing is always the floor plan of an architectural drawing just as the view are projected, the front view of an orthographic drawing. So, you still remember yung process ng orthographic drawing natin way back before. Okay? There are six views are rarely used to depict the architectural structures. Instead, only used are four. So, bakit four lang ang ginagamit? X. Um, if you are going to follow the standard procedure, there are six pic pictures or views that are being used. Pero anim lang, uh, uh, apat lang ang ginagamit. So, here is the proper explanation. So, if you are going to look at it, yung top view na tinitignan natin is already considered as the floor plan and that roof plan. Now, going here, it talks about the front view and then on this area is the right side view. Doon naman ang rear or the back view. And then this opposite side here, we have the left view, left side view. Pero yung bottom view or below view, which is not being used unless by specific details tala kayong ipapakita. Okay? Also, even the dimensionings here, proper dimensionings are being included in this uh, handout. Again, this handout is only used for learning purposes only. If you want this copy, you just give me a message sa ating um, sa ating sa ating comment section sa baba. Okay? So, if you're ready, let's start with drafting our um, drafting our elevation. So, as you can see here, this is an example of a presentation drawing of an elevation. So, ginawa ko to sa layout space with a certain command. So, soon, when we reach the entire process of, of creating architectural drawing, I believe the last part of architectural drawing, which is the perspective. I'm going to teach you basic drawing of a 3D AutoCAD. So, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng walls, windows, doors, roofing, standard size of uh, paggawa ng proper, proper ng roofing. So, there are so many steps that you have to consider when you're going to do... Um, 3D drawing. But, when you master 3D drawing, even hindi na natin kailangan mag-drop ng procedure ng, ng projection, ma-generate na natin kaagad ang mga views. 
Okay? So this is the wonders of AutoCAD. So since we are going to learn it in a basic way, we are going to have the most standard method, which is the projection method. Okay, so remember, there are four things you have to consider. The grade line, finish floor line, ceiling line, and the top of the roof. So, apat po ang kailangan natin tandaan. So, what is the first step? Okay, so ang unang gagawin natin is through by projection method. I'm going to have a line here. Okay, have it at F8, pamba. As our reference point. So, let's change the layer. Say, for example, I'm going to default it zero. And then, I'm going to have it here. Say, for example, extend pa natin baba. And I'm going to have it here, the base point of our natural grade line. Okay? Now that we have here, so I'm going to change this into zero. And this horizontal line represents as our NGL or natural grade line. So, remember, so standard me measurement now, rest usually from natural grade line to finish floor line is at 0.6 already. Okay? So again, 0.6 is being used because of the floods that are happening around the city. Especially to sa lugar namin. Konting ulan lang, baha ka agad. So 0.60 is an ideal measurement. So if you wish to add more height, you want it 1 meter, you could also do the same. Okay? And then, coming sa finished floor line, I'm going to have it 3 meters offset from this line, going upward as our ceiling, and then lastly, I'm going to have it at 1.5 meters ang pinakatap of the group. Okay. So, same procedure, I'm going to project everything cap by pro copying the lines here. So, ito, Punta rito. Punta rito. Okay? So make sure when you place the lines, they should be placed at the side talaga. Okay. Now copy the same for the roofing. Here. And copy same. Ito. So in an elevation drawing, ang usually sinasabi ko sa mga bata, you always solve for the roofing. Okay, so here, the start. Remember, this is the center. So, mag-offset ako ng 0.25 from this ceiling line upwards representing as the gutter. Okay, so 0.25 ang, 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 ang height niya. Okay, now that we are going to have, offset ako ng 0.2 for both sides which represents as the gutter. Now, once that we already have it here, I'm going to create a line here. Okay, make sure na naka-center siya. And then, create a line also on the other side, doing the same. So, which means we already have our roofing here. So, I'm going to trim the excess area so that I could understand easily my work. Okay, para madali maintindihan ang trabaho natin. So, same thing procedure here. I'm going to remove these lines so that I could easily interpret my work. Okay. So, after which, that we are going to have this here. Okay. So, this is not the center. We are going to create the center, which is found somewhere in between here. Which I will going to have the lines to be set somewhere here. So, Dito dapat ang posisyon ng bubo. Okay. Now, now that we already have this, it's time for us to erase some unimportant lines para mas mapadali ang ating trabaho. Okay. So, offset for the ridge at point 2 because ang ridge natin before it was point um, it was point 4 so if you want point 2 pwede pwede if you want point 1 pwede pwede din so for example point 1 ang ginamit ninyo okay it is this and then trim the excess now I'm going to remove these two and then I'm going to draw a gutter with a measurement of point 20 
So I'm going to have it line 0.2 Then sa baba 0.05 And then 0.05 Okay, then dito naman 0.2 0.1 And then simply connect as a representation of a cutter So with this, you can already copy this one Papunta dito And then the excess line must be removed Now to copy the same procedure what I'm going to do is to type MI mirror, click the opposite side, click, and then press N not to erase the source drawing. Okay, so alam na natin to sa previous drawing natin sa rook plan. So transfer lang natin ang drawing dito para sa kabila. Okay, so if hindi naging sentro, make sure dapat tumatama siya sa mga points na importante talaga. And then, I'm going to create lines here for our Grouping. Okay, here. Copy the same line. Pa, punta dito. So, trim the excess lines that are not important in your work. Okay. This one must be erased. And then, to indicate the hatch here. So, hatch. Okay. So, press H. Press H, enter. Click the source area. Now, if you are going to have it like this, no, kapag mas na gusto nyo mas mabadali ang trabaho ninyo, you press the edge here as the B hatch, you don't have to change anything. So just press enter, and then I'm going to type MA, enter as a match property. I'm going to choose these lines here, and then click na lang automatic. So which represents as your roof line already. Okay? So, mas napadali ang ating trabaho. Okay? So, next that we are going to have here is you are going to place the different positions of each window. Same procedure to the, pro uh, the projection of each lines going downwards. So, if sa manual drawing to, you will really need your T-square and your triangle to be really parallel para accurate ang ating trabaho. Okay, now, this is the position of the, what we call the, um, <clears throat> the position of the door, the windows that are being projected in the front view. So, galing dito, galing sa finished floor line, you have to take note that galing sa finished floor line to the window sill, which is the, sa baba ng bintana, meron siyang standard measurement. Okay, so common windows, they are, the standard measurement is at 0.90. So, mag-offset tayo ng 0.9 pataas. And then, the standard height of a window is at 1.2, which is considered as 4 feet. Okay? And then, trim the excess lines that are not included. Okay. So, if you want to add sa later, if, hindi ko to i-erase so that I'm going to use this as our moldings. Okay. So, ito, i-erase ko to dito. Now, to focus here, I'm going to create a rec command. No? Dito, papunta dito. And then, I'm going to give it an offset of 0 0.05 para meron tayong frame or jealousy frame for our sliding window. We are going to use a sliding window sa ating output. So, I'm going to type rec here target the center and automatic meron na tayong divided into 2 so I'm just going to give it as a 0 0.05 offset for the frame of each sliding window um, copy this one and then place it to the opposite side ngayon I'm going to highlight this area and then I'm going to convert this right away into doors and windows now if you want to add hatch here hatching no, the most common that we are using here in AutoCAD we use gradient okay Gradient ang ginagamit namin para mas madali maintindihan that this is window. Meron naman yung mga series of lines, 3 dash lines. Okay, 3 lines na vertically ginawa as the representation of glass. Okay, so press enter as the representation of the uh, what we call the um, glass na gradient natin. So, the next that we are going to have is simply to copy this one to the opposite side kasi same size na naman sila meron na tayong dalawang windows na ginawa only this line here 
sa finish floor line, this should be represented as a hidden line. So, we already indicated that this is part of the finish floor area. Okay? As the hidden line. Now, to add some details dito sa part na to, no? If you do not want to, these lines, you can erase. So, if you want to add some details, I'm going to place this as what you call wall claddings or sometimes wall moldings or wall designs na pwedeng gamitin. So, I'm going to hatch this. You could use bricks, pero yung bricks kasi sinauna pa talaga. So, I'm going to use this as ANSI and then I'm going to give it at 135 angle a representation of a molding. So, I'm going to give this as a fine line layer. Okay? So, if you want to do the same here, hatch in. Okay? Hatch, click, enter, and then match the drawing para madali ang ating put. So, there you have it already, position of each window. Now, I'm going to change the layers of this into solid wall. Okay? To give a representation of a solid wall. And then, this line is being represented as the grade line, which is the most thickest sa compared sa mga drawing outputs. Then, remaining here, you can just choose as the um, you could use fine lines or if you want you have roofing material layer pwedeng pwede lang siya at point 0.20 okay? so here is example of a front elevation which has been done in just a few minutes okay so after here you have to consider also placing the center lines Okay? Grid lines pa rin ay napaka-importante sa ating output. Okay? So, trim ko na lang to siya. And then, I'm going to copy this again on each certain position. Okay? On a very strategic position or should I say kung saan talaga sila dapat nakalagay. So, I'm going to give this a line here and then trim the excess and then erase this and then convert this into what we call center line. Now, copy the ABC. Copy this one. And then, place it dito sa ating ginawang trabaho. Now, if you need to adjust this, you may do so para mas appropriate na. So, therefore, we already have indicated as the grid position of this line. Now, there are times mga sinaunang mga drops man na nakilala ko. They have a line here. Line. I'm going to choose PL. Okay, and then they are going to thicken this outside border to give a representation of the lines that are expected to be the outline of the structure. Ito yung mga unang-unang style na ginagamit namin. Makapal yung exterior line so that it would give a representation of the roofing or, or the structure with an outline. So, if you're going to look at it, makapal ang area. So, mga unang style namin ito siya. Now, not necessarily kailangan yun siyang i-apply, pero pwedeng pwede rin ang ganito to make depth or to add depth to your work. Now, once we are already done on the details of our elevation, if you wish to proceed sa rear view or sa back view, pwede na din. Pero dito, we could already start indicating dimension. Now, when you go to the elevation, all the dimensions are only used in vertical. Walang dimensions dito sa taas. That is a rule and law in being in drafting or in a, even in architecture that dimensions are not being placed here only by a vertical only because we are going to measure here is the height of each the, of, of the structure. So I'm going to press DLI, enter, or if you want, I can set already the layer into dimension line. DLI, copy, and then drag here, backwards. And then DCO. So, galing sa finish floor line, to the ceiling line, and then if you want, automatic sa top of the roofing. Okay. So, this is the procedure na paglagay. Now, also, you have to indicate dimensions that are very specific. For example, galing dito, pupunta dito, you may add. And then, you need also to place the total height of the structure. If you want hit here, you could also give it a shot. Okay? So, 
we already placed dimensions. Even pagdating dito, you could also give do the same procedure. Pero depende lang sa kung anong anong kailangan yung picture sa inyong dimensions. For me, I don't have to add this because um, may lalagay naman to sa ibang mga measurements, sa ibang mga drawings pa. Pero sa front elevation, ito lang yung nalagay ko. Now that we have here, it's time for us. It's time for us to place here the size, the, the, the names, para sa mga different parts. So here, I will match this first. Okay, I'ma match ko muna to to make sure para ito nagkas. Okay, text tayo. Type here. I'm going to type N G N G L. So I'm going to give this a 0.15th height and then automatic I'll change the layer into move this drawing somewhere here and then some they are also applying use of a triangle so I'm going to type polygon enter 3 enter click and then choose the triangle inscribe automatic plus F8 as the representation and this is the natural red line so give it a move so change the layer and then I'm simply going to copy this one sa bawat parts ng area as you can see I did not use already hindi ko na ginamit ang beam line kasi automatic understood naman siya na nandito na po okay so here I'm going to change this as F FL, which stands for finish floor line, and then dito naman FCL. Okay, if you wish to move this, you may do so. And then this one, I'm going to give this a move somewhere here, and then I'm going to change this as the extent tayo, top of the roof, or sometimes top of the ridge. Okay, now what if happens kung meron ding? Di ba mga hip, mga hip, uh, what they call hip valley roof or hip extended roof. Meron siyang ditong second na hip type edge. So you could also add there as the top of the roof. Okay, kasi siya ang pinaka tip. Okay, then we already placed the placement of each what we call the um, coming from grid line to the top of the roof. Now, it's time for us to indicate the type of materials that we are going to have. Now, some they are using lines, automatic lines, and then type the text. Pero ang gagamitin natin dito is MLD, multi leader line. So, type MLD on your keyboard, enter, point it to the object that you need. Okay, click. Kapag nandito ang arrow, if you want here, pwede din siya. Click lang, and then I say, for example, the type of material is, um, if you still remember, ano bang type ng material ang ginamit sa roofing? Um, corrugated roofing, 0.40 thickness. So, it's a GI corrugated roofing. Okay, then click. So, I'm going to change this automatic sa text. Okay, so I'm going to change right away yung layer ko sa text. Now, also, proceeding here, MLD. Again, if you want to repeat the same command, you may do so by pressing spacebar. Ito naman, commonly na sinasabi namin dito sa material na to is a Spanish gutter. Some, they are spandrel gutter. Some, may maraming mga terms. Pwede din siya. Also here, um, concrete wall, paint, Finish. Now, if this is a wood wall, you could place here wood wall paint finish. Okay? So, dito naman. Okay? Dito, sliding window. And then, yung nasa baba. Okay? Say, for example, concrete molding. Okay? And then, there you have it, are the materials of this structure. Okay. Ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin is simply at this a uh, title of the drawing. So, copy na lang natin to. And then, isip na baba. 
and what we are going to do here is to edit the text of the structure which I'm going to type here front elevation some front elev na lang which is also acceptable okay so front elevation pero ako kasi parang hindi na rin tamad <laughs> kompleto na lang talaga so I'm going to type here as front elevation okay ilain na natin ng konti space bar then move these lines or move this drawing or text to the center to make it a front elevation now since we are still uh, since this is a two drawing we are going to also to drop today the rear elevation so what should we do so i'm going to copy this one here copy on each side no and then i'm going to type a mirror mi then click which is stands for mirror click then if you want to reset the release source object i'm going to press yes and then enter okay so move na lang natin to siya dito now you could also na, you could also say na hindi naman kailangan i uh, i mirror kasi nandoon naman din lahat siya sa um uh, ganun pa rin naman ang itsura sa, sa rear view yes but i have to create mirror because of the grid lines for vertical so para mas mapadali ang trabaho ko ang grid lines na nakalagay dito so i'm going to erase this multi-leader line that I created and then I will leave the dimensions so what are the things that you have in the rear view so what should I do simply copy the drawing somewhere here I'm going to rotate the object para mas mapadali ang trabaho okay click here so ito kailangan because all I'm going to do is simply this main source object lang. Okay? So, highlight the object. I'm going to move it a little while here. Parang hindi ako sumama lahat. Highlight everything. Click this one. Click everything. Move the object. So, over here. So, see, see, hindi na sama lahat. So, just click lang and then place it on the edge. Okay. So, I'm going to give here a line as a guide papuntang pataas so that I could easily project the drawing and then I'm going to place the drawing here sa taas move the drawing as a separate reference point dito ko siya i-click okay so then place it here as the for the source of projection now I'm going to erase this lines or the drawings that I have including this dimension sa loob okay now here I'm going to place it here the, since hindi exposed ang mga poste sa, sa labas, everything's are just being looking at like this. So, I'm going to erase this one. And then, ito naman. Ito. So, automatic. Extend the, the lines to here. Then, start projecting these lines na meron tayo dito. Okay. So, here. Projection 1. And then, until here, projection 2. So, this is the representation for CR and laboratory. So, sa laboratory, I'm going to offset ang 0.9. And then, trim this area here. And then, not to forget, there is a door 2 dito. Okay. So, i-add pa natin ang details niyan lahat. Okay. So, for CR, I'm going to offset dito ng 0.1 because remember, floor area ng CR ay mas mababa compared sa common floor area ng structure simply because of the water that is surrounded within the CR. Kapag lumabas ang tubig papunta sa main flooring ninyo, that could create a major um, disaster, lalo na kapag nagkaroon ng tubig sa labas na. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may mga loose wires at mayroong mga konting gasgas sa mga wire natin sa mga extension at tumamas tubig, that could create danger sa mga occupants. Okay, so, trim and then I'm going to match everything here into a hidden line as representation of the structure. Now here, I'm going to project all lines for the windows. Okay, so click with the use of projection. So ito naman, punta rito, pa, baba. So, see, 
Ganito nang kadali gawin ang ang elevation lalo na when you are going to proceed with the use of projection. So, once you already have it here, I could use the same height of the elevation for which window. So, dito, we could just project it right away and then erase lang kapag hindi na kailangan. Dito, I'm going to have an offset of 0.6 para sa ating first window. So, I'm going to erase this, trim, everything for the window sa loob ng ating CR. Remember that the window sa CR not necessarily naman pala palagi that, but you have to remain it at pinakamaliit so that you could have a privacy sa structure. Although there are some kotoy and bathrooms they have bigger windows as long as they are not should I say visible sa mga tao na sa labas. Okay? So you have to keep uh, uh, you have to remind yourself that. Okay, so offset tayo ng 0 0.05 to give this as a window. Say for example, this is a owning window. Or, if you want, para mas mapadali, this is a what we call um, I'm going to use hatch 135 and then I'm going to adjust the scale. Siguro mga 0.5 as to represent that this is a jealousy window. Okay? So, na ginagamit sa mga toilet and bathroom. So, you could also use sliding. You could also use um, you could also use owning windows. Pero, depende na lang sa kung anong gusto ninyo. Okay? Then, dito naman, I'm going to have it as um, 0.8 Oba. And then, Rec na lang. Erase the remaining for the dito. And then 0 0.05 pa loob. And then same procedure. Windows. Then, depende pa rin kung anong gusto nyong bintana dito. So, for example, this is an owning window. So, I'm going to use hatch here. But, I'm going to use gradient. So, click ko na lang to siya. Enter. And I'm going to match it here sa kabila para maging pareho. Okay? So, to represent this as a owning window, click lang. Click. And click. And then, represent it as a hidden line. Okay? That, that this is a representation of the owning window. So, you could also use the same. And then lastly, not to forget, we have the door. So, let me change my layer first into zero. Line. And then copy the line. Okay, copy the line. That's it. Okay. Then, the height of the door, as always, at 2.1. Okay. Then I'm going to type a rec. Tanggalin ang hindi kailangan as a representation of the door. So, object lang ako ng 0 0.05. And then, I'm going to give this a pull. So, okay. Now, to make it more, a little bit more detailed, so I'm going to have it rec here. Okay, offset ng 0.1 so that it will be more a little bit of detail that is being used sa mga bahay. Now that we have our door here, okay, so I'm going to erase this. As our door representation here, I'm going to give this a highlight of a door and with the symbols. And then, to make it more detailed, pag ilagay ang door knob at 0 0.025 size, and then I'm going to move it here by 0 0.05. Now, the height of the door knob commonly elevated as with a measurement of 0.9. So, okay. So, with a measurement of 0.9, yun ang standard measurement na paglagay ng mga door knob. Okay? As represented this way. Okay?
So, bakit kailangan 0.9? Yun po ang naka-standard position or standard height ng paglagay ng turret. Okay. So, and then, place it here. Ito. Hanapin lang ang center. And then, I'm going to place it here. Sa baba, ang inyong drawing ng hidden line. So, that this, it represents as a swing door. So, if you're going to look at the hidden line or in, in a floor plan, ibig sabihin, going inside. So, this represents going inside ang pag-swing ng pintuan. Okay? So, now that we already have everything here on our rear elevation, so I'm going to erase this one because hindi naman ito siya kailangan. Okay? Then, I'm going to give it a copy here. And give, it a, give this a name as rear elevation. And then move a little so that the text will be on center. So, if you wish to add more dimensions, for example, dito iba ang finished floor line, you could make this, adjust this measurement, placing it somewhere here. Okay? And then, you could also give a measurement of setting it here as the lavatory line. Okay? So, depende kung saan, ano ang kailangan ninyong specify na measurement. Okay. Now, then, you are going to type MLD for the remaining so, here. Para hindi maging redundant ang ating trabaho, I'm going to give this as um, glass jalo C window. Then, this one, para hindi pareho, kasi meron naman description na as this is a concrete wall. And then, I'm going to give this as owning window. And then, for this one, as wood panel door. Okay? So, change this into text. Match lang. And then, you already have your two elevations. Now, not to forget also, I'm going to copy this one. Okay, sa mga windows. So, placing it here as the window one. Meron. And then, I'm going to give it a copy also, window 3 to make it more detailed. Okay, mas maganda kasi kapag detailed talaga ang trabaho natin. And then, we have the window 2 which is placed here. And then, Lastly, not to forget, is door 2. So, sir, makikita ba natin ang door 4 sa loob? I think so. Makikita natin because of the section drawings that are being placed here. So, doon pa natin ipapakita ang mga details. Okay? So, door 1 will be present sa right side elevation. Okay. So, now that we already have it here, no? If you wish to print this already um, a, on, a, on an A3 paper size, you may do so. So, you move ko lang to, to give it a space. Your work. So, I always end up by placing, uh, should I say, placing a, what we call, um, plating. So, kailangan kasi naka-plat talaga siya. Para maganda rin tignan. Okay? So, let's try to scale this. That is 10 is to 1. And then, have a check. Kung kapag for elevation talaga, kasha dito, kasha ang kasha talaga siya. Okay? And then type it here, plot. Give it a plot. And then, windows. Click the side of the paper. And then, make sure, naka one is to one, center the plot. I'm going to give it a monochrome. Apply to layout. Preview. And then there you have it, yung inyong 1 is to 100 meters, two elevations that we have. On the next video, I'm going to also to show you the same procedure of drafting the right side and left side elevation. As you observe also, nandito ang ABC, dito sa kabila sa rear elevation, baliktad na po. Nandito na po sa unahan ang A, B, and C. Okay? So I hope that you learned something from me today. And... I hope in the next few days to come, mas marami pa kayo matutunan. Once again, this is Coach Jean of Drafting Lifestyle. And I'm happy, very, very happy to share 
to you our basic performance of drafting such working drawings, such beautiful working drawings that we use in our daily task. God bless you, stay safe, and mabuhay po tayo. Till our next tutorial.